We're gonna pick up where we left off in our last conversations about Havasupai. Rod DMD and I and a couple of others were trying to come up with nutrient dense foods that you could eat on the trail for the health conscious person. Raw vegan type stuff. This was one of the recipes I found last time on the Happy Raw Kitchen. Chia sesame crackers. Now, chia seeds are amazing. I love them. I mean, antioxidants is a power food. And then you, of course, know sesame seeds are good. So we're gonna try this. And it requires dehydrating. Ah! Yeah, I've never dehydrated any foods before. So this is gonna be an experiment. A trip, a lot of fun, all of the above. Check. This bit should be really easy. Mix up the liquids first. So you need a quarter cup of maple syrup. Not the raw stuff, whoa. Something went wrong inside the maple syrup. Scary looking. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna do the non-maple syrup recipe. Just fine, we didn't need the sugars anyway. Well, there's plenty of sugar right here. With this recipe, I need a half a cup measuring cup. One moment. Got it. Half a cup of agave, light agave they say. I don't really know what light agave is. It's blue agave, it's not very heavy. And they say it's low glycemic index. Oh. There it says, it says light on there, you see it? Good, gluten free and light. So, light agave, very technical stuff. Let's make sure we get all of it. Sweetness, we want the sweetness on the trail, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm on the trail, I want sugars. I just crave sugars. Not very difficult to figure out why. All right, and then I'm gonna go get some filtered water. Hang on. Whoa, clearly prepared, especially in my super can-do t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Quarter cup of water. Half a cup of agave. I kind of want to mix my liquids before I start mixing in all the other ingredients. All the other, as if there were so many ingredients. Just the chia and sesame, you mean? Got our agave and water mixed. Gonna add one cup of chia seeds, like the chia pet. So we added our chia pet, and then it says one cup of sesame seeds soaked. So I soaked my sesame seeds in a jar overnight. They absorbed a lot of water, rinsed them off this morning, and they're considerably more than a cup now, but it said measured pre-soaked, so. One cup. This actually looks really good already. And it smells good. Mix it up, all together, good, easy. Now, let it absorb all the excess moisture. Which, if you guys don't know anything about chia seeds, it's gonna do really quickly. This stuff can absorb nine to 12 times its own mass in water. So one tablespoon to what, a, or like a quarter cup of water, it'll just take it all. We'll give that about 10 or 20 minutes, as, uh, let it dry here a little bit first, and then on to the next step. I've been fluffing up the, or fluffing up. I've been, I've been mixing up our mixture here and it really thickened up a lot better than I expected. It smells pretty good too. Like sweet sesame. Sweet sesame, what was that? I got really loud and I'm excited. This is turning out pretty well. Need to spread out the mixture about a quarter to an eighth, eighth of an inch thick across parchment paper, which we got, and cover it up with food wrap. When it's ready to dry, I guess. I nearly forgot we've got to score these guys. Um, how big a cracker should we have? Let's go with smaller portions because that's healthier, right? The food dehydrator is solar powered. Well, it's the sun. Okay, so that could have been done a lot more simply. Just cover the chia bars with saran wrap. It's the third time I've done this. It's not saran wrap, it's food wrap. Curse these brands for training us. Good marketing job, guys. Anyway, should have coated the bars just uh, very simply with a food wrap and rolled them out with a rolling pin. However, this being a house of three guys, there's some kitchen implements such as rolling pins that we don't have. I told you we were gonna dry this food because it's a raw food, and so we are. We're gonna use something really cool that a friend just randomly brought to me a couple days ago. This awesome outdoor food dehydrator. I'm really excited. It's gonna keep the bugs and birds out. See, it's got this little flap that goes up, and that's why we cut these things uh, so thin on the parchment paper so that they can fit through that nice little door. Let's see if I can do it one-handed. Nope, nope, my tray's too big. You're gonna have to sit down. What do you think? Would they dry faster if they were tiered out? Or should I just leave them on top of each other? Because really, only at noon will the sun be right on top, right? You're upside down. Now we really play the waiting game. I have no idea how long this will take. They say about 18 to 20 hours in the food dehydrator. They say, the recipe says, about 18 to food, 18 to food? <laughs> 18 to 20 hours in a food dehydrator. So, son, what do you say? I moved the chia crackers out front. Get us a couple more hours of sun. The house was shading them. And I have to say, when I moved them a couple hours ago, let's see, that was five hours in, it's now seven hours in. At five hours in, they were already feeling really dry. So, I've got high expectations that they're done. Despite the 18 to 20 hours they're supposed to take in a food dehydrator. Whoa, almost fell off the ladder. Uh, I think they'll go a lot quicker out here in the sun. Maybe it's a little hotter than it ought to be. Don't tell the raw people. Sorry, Deb. Oh, yeah. Let's see. It's a little bendy. 
I don't know if it's supposed to be. I'm really tempted to try some. By tempted, I mean I'm trying to rip a piece off so I can have it. There's a really strong sesame flavor. As I eat more and more, you notice the sweetness more in the aftertaste. As much as I'd love to devour all of them right now, I kind of have it in my head that they ought to be a little bit more stiff. But they, they recommend that you not leave it out overnight if you're drying outside, because the dew might you know make them moist again. What if I just ate one more? Totally destroying the French philosophy of eating. But I'm not French, so I guess that's okay. Mais je parle français. Un petit peu. Oui, je t'ai français pour deux ans. Oh, oh, oh. It's the first thing you learn. Sorry. I really love French. French, the language, and the people. I just didn't like it when they told me I had to wear a Speedo at their public pool. France was really cool up until that point. But when the girl looks over the counter and says, you know, give me your pants, in French, I look down and I know I'm not wearing anything under my pants. It's an awkward scenario. Good morning. Just got home from work. Ugh. Which, I don't know why I didn't share that with you before. I work on an ambulance, so sometimes when I come home, I... Well, I look like The Walking Dead. I go like now. But, check this out. Chia crackers. Mo was kind enough to uh, put them in and take them out of the sun for us yesterday. And now, we get to try some. They should be completely dry. They did harden up pretty well, but they're still a little soft. They feel like tacky, like the back of a post-it, but they're not very sticky, actually. These guys are awesome. We'll definitely be using these camping. Deb and Arizona Adventures, you guys should try this. Even if you're not into health or trail hiking, this is a really good snack. So the recipe said that you store them in a glass jar and they're good for two weeks. They're not gonna last two weeks. And that has nothing to do with their stability as a food or bacterial growth. Something to do with their deliciousness. Finishing up Project Chia here. I was standing doing the dishes, blissfully happy, singing Disney songs, playing off of our iHome system. This is what I do. <laughs> Welcome to the real life of Dustin Cantu. Terribly exciting. Dishes! Yeah, let's do the dishes! <laughs> Who has fun doing dishes? Does it matter what you're doing? There's palm trees outside, okay? Whenever there's a palm tree outside, I can't help but be happy. Especially if it's really warm, like it is today. Yeah! Thank you for joining me for this Chia Cracker adventure. I'm Dustin, and you can too. Really, look, it was that easy. You really can too. Uh, you guys wanted us to cook together. I'm sorry. I was visiting him yesterday, and we were so absorbed in what we were doing, we didn't cook at all. So, well, we did, but we were really hungry, so we didn't video videotape them. Like, when you say that word, it kind of reminds me of, like, uh, VHS. VHS is not involved here.